Hello my beautiful Sagittarius, welcome to my channel. This is your favorite fortune teller, Divine Light. Today I'm going to do a tarot card reading for your overall energies. Due to the general nature of this reading, please take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't for the others. If you're enjoying these videos, don't forget to give them a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of these, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Alright guys, let's jump into your reading and let's see what's coming your way. We're going to be exploring three main themes on, reading, on this reading. The first one is going to be what's coming your way. And the second one is going to be what's leaving your life. We have Nine of Cups. So this, there's going to be a beautiful wish fulfillment. And there's, this is actually Nine Cups that you're putting in a row. So there's going to be more than one wish fulfillment. Okay. And this is telling you the message is the God is, will be giving your desire to your heart okay so this can also mean this is a deep meaning here so your desire to your heart oh what you desire in your heart is going to be received by you okay so uh not in your mind maybe you think you need something you think you need something but in your heart you feel that you want a certain thing and um needing is it doesn't have to be always needing like if you feel like oh i i need to have this maybe uh, you can also focus on your wants as well you don't have to need something all the time and what's leaving your life let's see okay there's going to be a little bit of hardship i see here nine of uh wands showing up maybe you have been going through a hardship that's going to be coming to an end but in this picture we have an elephant and i always interpret elephants as the form of wealth and opportunity and the massive wealth actually so maybe if your desire is the wish fulfillment is the massive wealth this is showing up here this might take a little bit couple more tries couple tries maybe you need to do things in a certain way maybe you need to change your ways of doing things however eventually it's going to be manifesting for you what's coming what's leaving your life is we have the three of swords hardship maybe heartbreak or betrayal uh, doesn't have to be romantic can be also maybe at work with the people or even maybe feeling down okay feeling betrayed uh, because um, when you're feeling betrayed this is actually uh, doesn't show up like that it shows up in your energy as well even if you weren't like betrayed by anybody okay and uh, we have here two of pentacles and uh, there's going to be a lot of balance coming into your life okay you're going to be leaving this heartbreak in the past and you're going to start balancing out your energies and in this beautiful card this is Rumi tarot you can see this is a dervish he's whirling whirling dervish and you can see sun moon and like sun moon and the star so these are all indications of like a uh, moon means um intuitive intuition sun sun means happiness and the star actually symbolizes manifestations so even if this is like the two of pentacles uh, showing you you're going to be balancing your energies and there's going to be also like a, a time of like a little bit stagnancy uh, in this card i see um the things like you're going to receive intuitive messages your wishes and like when you follow your heart's desire that uh, whatever gives you happiness with the sun energy you're going to be manifesting from sky to the earth your desires okay all right guys let's see what's the unexpected we have the king of cups here um if you're manifesting love definitely someone very stable energy a uh, very beautiful energy with loving caring uh, appreciating can be water sign but if you don't one water sign maybe their chart on their chart on their venus a uh, cancer pisces scorpio on the love department someone with very giving and loving might be showing up uh, this is the unexpected part so he might show up in he or she might show up in a very unexpected way okay and uh, there's going to be some celebration happening um like if you're manifesting love take it uh like that because we have the four of wands which is actually symbolizing some sort of like a wedding uh in the regular tarot deck okay and um so 
if you're not manifesting love commitment something like that can be something give you emotional fulfillment um maybe a new job that you're going to be celebrating entertain enjoying with your loved ones friends coming together and they're going to be like congratulating you and you're going to like celebrate something definitely and this is going to be coming out of nowhere this is the good stuff the unexpected stuff okay you might receive an offer so if you are uh applying for jobs keep doing it because you are going to be manifesting your heart's desire we have a nine of cups here with the number 30 th 32 we have the power that overcomes the hardship um you know just embrace your power so uh if you're feeling down if you're feeling like you're crumbling down under the weight and the things happening around you uh this is actually be strong it's telling you to be strong even if you're not feeling strong uh act uh, act like you are strong play the game of belief that's what sir anthony hopkins was saying believe 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 even if you don't uh play the game of belief okay act like you do believe that you're powerful you're strong because you are actually do you do but the things happening around you not giving you letting you believe in yourself um even if you're not believing in yourself act as if you do and then your mind actually uh, you know takes it seriously your mind believes you so tell your mind tell your body the things uh, that you would tell to a little child okay because you have that little child still inside of you if you don't put down a little child and just insult them and you know tell them that you they're useless if you don't do that to a little child why are you doing that to yourself okay let's get to the nine of wands let's see what it means death and rebirth uh, from darkness to the uh, light so this is very clear and open actually um the hardship is coming to an end like i said there's an elephant on this one leopards on that one fast coming wealth that's what i'm seeing maybe financially if you have been going hardship that's coming to an end we have here what's leaving your life three of uh, swords which is pain you're putting this pain down away this is a coffin actually um like in Lenormand deck they say this coffin is bad like but um this is very very like we have death card here coffin and three of uh, three of swords so the hardship the heartbreak all of that you're burying that down this is going away this is actually taking a leave and not ever coming back okay so a uh, heartbreak can actually can happen to anyone like for a minute even a second someone might say something like weird or that you don't like you might have a heartbreak but what's gonna happen is i feel like you're having this transformational thing happening in your life you're gonna recognize your power and beauty and worth and value so no matter what says no one says whatever you're not going to be taking them seriously anymore you're not going to be taking a destructive criticism as um the truth anymore you're just going to put that down away this is going to be leaving your life for good and the sun card is right here 31 number 31 we have 31 32 and uh, so definitely uh you are going to be finding your purpose your life your balance and whatever gives you joy and happiness very soon okay so um if the things are not really moving the way you want them to be not feeling that great right now if you're in the energy of the three of swords that is coming to an end okay don't worry about it you're gonna be good and fine we have here an unexpected one uh the queen of Michaels, which can be uh um air sign and this is actually Louis Hay you can see in this deck and uh this is a smart very uh, um, confident person who has a great understanding very charming and uh, if this is you might actually embody these uh, attributes and this you don't have to be male or female like you know take it as like the feminine energy who's actually very good at communicating very they're like humorous they know how to deal with situations very graceful and the message here is you know exactly what to do um 
you know, get, um, actually dive deep into your experiences and you're going to find uh, what, like the solution. And it, this also says it's a career time more than the relationship. So like I said, if you get an offer or if you apply for a job and if you get an acceptance, um, this is actually going to be improving your career in a better way. You're going to be having like a lot of good celebrations. And um, like I said here, we see the King of Cups and this doesn't have to be the King coming your way. The, there's a like um, a love coming your way. This can also be a job that you're going to be enjoying very, very much. Okay. Uh, here I have for the uh, four of wands, two of Mikael's, which is also another uh, air sign, um, two of swords. So this is telling you, if you can make a decision, everything is going to be amazing and better and analyze a problem very well. And you're going to find a way of um, making a, a, a decision and um, actually, I don't want to say arbitration, but maybe mediation. There is going to be, you're going to find a way to make peace with in a situation which will bring you um, this celebration. Okay, so there might be, I feel like maybe this is because a lot of air energy and the Libra is air. Maybe if you're having like a legal problems, um, there is going to be a decision. Maybe there's going to be a verdict on your behalf which will be celebrated by you. You're going to be celebrating. And this is the on the unexpected side. Maybe this is the character of the judge. They're actually taking care of the case or maybe like a legal officer, legal worker. If you have anything happening with the government, they're also going to be uh, deciding on your behalf, which will end up for you a celebration, which, gonna, which is going to become a celebration for you. All right, my lovelies, that's all for today. Hope you enjoy your reading. If you do, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of these, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I wish you all a magical day. Bye.